This is a Silent Night 5207. Fire alarm control panel here. You can open it up real fast. The only trouble is a dialer trouble, which comes back up every single night. Oh my gosh, I keep pointing the camera down here because it's a, this panel is massive though, compared to the SHP that is. So the only trouble on the system right now is the dialer trouble. Which happens every night because it's someone else's programming on the panel and I can't reprogram it. So, oh my gosh, this focus. I don't know why, but for some reason on my iPod, the focus, I have to tap where I want it to focus. It doesn't autofocus. There we go. Yeah, just changed this panel out like a few weeks ago, I think. I'm just making a quick video on it real fast, so let me open it. Remote silence key switch outside my door. This panel, find the key. Out of the many, many keys I have on this key ring. Okay, I think that's it. Guess we'll find out. Yep. Okay. I do have batteries in this panel because it's my only panel with actual battery leads that I can hook up. And I swapped out the panel because I can't run my SHP 24-7. Uh, it's having a transformer overheating issue. And I asked for assistance on the fire panel forums, but which I'm now on. Didn't get a reply yet. So let me clear this trouble. There. System normal. It's just that trouble is going to come back at some random time in the middle of the night. It just reports. Like, it attempts to report at just some random time. Which I'm not sure which protocol it's using. If it was contact ID, I could, I could receive that. But it's not. It's some frequency shift keyed. Communication, but yeah, so I have 5207, four NAX, four auxiliary relays, eight points. Just a quick preview. You will see more of this panel soon, I think.